Man, it has been a rough day in the Dokkan world, and I'm not even sure where to start with all of this, but I guess Gohan makes the most sense. So obviously, the Dokkan community was already pretty, I'll put it lightly, uh, disappointed, upset, more like outraged, but let's say disappointed by the fact that his active skills requirements were very restrictive. It was very difficult to get that active skill off, which is very disappointing, mainly because this guy has one of the coolest transformations, one of the most awesome transformations in the game. It's cool as hell. Uh, maybe we'll look at it in a second, but we want that transformation, right? Like the reason people want to pull for this card, or at least a big part of it, is because of that Super Saiyan 2 transformation. And it is amazing. But it made it so restrictive to the point where it's very, very difficult. It's going to be very rare to actually see it happen. And uh, we did get the official announcement, the official release from the uh, Dokkan Twitter page that confirmed exactly what Dokkaner um, reported a couple days ago and it, it just, it, it sucks. It really does suck. And I'm not saying that this card is going to be bad or that it's going to be not worth summoning for and I'm personally still going to summon. I still want this card, don't get me wrong, but they just could have done, they just could have made it so much easier for him to transform. They could have done him so much more justice uh, than they actually did. And um, just to remind you guys, just in case you forgot, let me read the active skill to you real quick. So, or not the active skill, but rather the condition. So basically, it can be activated when HP is 58% or less with an Android 16 on the team, or when HP is 58% or less with an existing Android's category ally or enemy starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle once only. And by the way, this is the transformation. That's the active skill. And like I said, very restrictive, right? And here's the thing. I understand that they want you to work to get this transformation off because it is very strong. It's very powerful. But at the same time, they definitely went overboard with it, man. There's there's just too much restriction, too many restrictions for one card. Look, there's an HP restriction, there is a teammate restriction, and there's also a turn restriction. And unless you're bringing an Android 16 on the team, five turns is a lot of turns these days for most events, man. And you're just not gonna be seeing that transformation very often. Like, it, it really sucks because like I said, it's such a cool transformation. It's so amazing. And obviously everybody wants to run him in his most optimal state at Super Saiyan 2 with the Super Saiyan 2 transformation. And it's, it's just really disappointing. It's really sad that we can't see it nearly as often as we want. But here's the thing. There was also a glimmer of hope at the time, right? Like when we first saw this, we were disappointed initially, but, but then we were like, you know what? The first part of that restriction is not too bad. If you have an Android 16 on the team, uh, all you have to be is below 58% HP and that's it, right? So um, possibly if you bring Android 16 on the team, it shouldn't be too bad. But then you think about the fact that his leader skill is for the Kamehameha category and there's not going to be an Android 16 on that category because there's no Android 16, no version of him that uses that ability, right? But then we heard that there was going to be a new Android 16 added to the game and there was a glimmer of hope. You're like, hold on. Um, this guy has a secondary leader skill of super AGL types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%. So this new Android 16 has to be a super AGL type so that he can be on the team still and benefit from the secondary leader skill, right? That would make sense, right? So he can include this new super AGL 16 on Gohan's team and you know get his transformation off that way. It shouldn't be too bad. It's just an HP restriction in that sense uh, if you have the 16 on the team. So we waited, right? We were hoping that that was the case. And Bandai was like, nope, nope. We got this release this morning. And as you can see, <laughs> Android 16 is an int type unit. Now this was actually leaked by Dokener, um about yesterday or like a day and a half ago. And he was like, you know what? From what I can tell, Android 16 is gonna be int, but there is a chance that this could change, right? There's, there's, there's a chance. So I was like, you know what? That, the, the window is still open. Are right, there still a tiny, tiny possibility that they just don't completely screw this up and, you know, at least make 16, the new 16, a, a, a AGL type unit, not an int unit, and allow him to be run on the, you know, Gohan's Kamehameha slash Super AGL team and uh, still be able to allow us to get that transformation off a little bit easier. 
And uh, no, as it turns out, it wasn't the case. Now, let me let me be clear. This 16 is not bad. All right, he's not a bad unit at all. But it's just for the simple fact that he is not a AGL unit that a lot of people are very upset. And I just don't understand why. It just doesn't make sense to me at all, man. Why would you release this new 16 with the new LR Gohan and then give the Gohan that restriction, but not get, make this guy super AGL and not allow them to be run on the same team. It just doesn't make any sense to me, man. I don't understand who messed up here, like which part of Bandai's team or Kotsky's team made this decision. Uh, dude, I mean, at least if, if you're gonna do this, make Gohan a int then. Make, make Gohan an int type unit and give him an int type leader skill and then make the new cell AGL or something. That would've been fine, right? But instead, they made 16 int, they made Gohan a super AGL lead, and it just makes no sense and it, it, I just I don't get it I don't get it and uh, if that was all like that if that was it I might not even make this video but then on top of that we got more information about the LR cell today and as it turns out he is almost as if not more restrictive with his uh, his active skill than the uh, LR Gohan was and at first I mean, when people first saw that the info from Dokkan or the leaks, right? We we were like, you know what? Cell looks awesome. He looks way better than Gohan. It's, and a lot of people actually switched from Team Gohan to Team Cell. And uh, there was good reason for that, right? Like on paper at the time, he looked amazing. But then we, we found out earlier this morning <laughs> that his transformation conditions... Okay, so I said active skill before. I meant more so transformation or the combination of his transformation and his active skill conditions is very restrictive. So basically... Cell only transforms when he falls below 30% HP, all right? Or your team falls below 30% HP. So when you're below 30% HP, he transforms, and then you have to wait until three turns after he transforms. So whenever you, tra when, whenever you fall below 30% HP, so let's say for some reason on like the third or fourth turn of the battle, you fall below 30% HP, then you have to wait until three turns after, so on the third turn after he transformed, or at least I guess that'll be two turns after. Um, it says on the third turn, right? So two turns after, there, then there has to be one enemy, and then you can use his active skill. So I don't know if I'm articulating, articulating that very well because I'm just so like all over the place right now, but let me try to rephrase. So you have to be below 30% HP to transform, and then on the third turn after transformation, and when there's only one enemy, you can use his active skill, all right? That's crazy. That is absolutely insane to me that, <laughs> oh my God, like how often are you gonna be able to see this? Like, first of all, first of all how often do you fall below 30% HP? You thought Gohan's 58% HP was bad? How often are you below 30% HP in any event except for Super Battle Road and also the Legendary Goku event? Like almost never, almost never. You would have to build a team specifically that sucked around Cell to, to get that condition, right? And then you have to wait two more turns after that. And then there has to be only one enemy, right? So not only are you, is there an HP restriction? There's gonna be a turn restriction after that. I mean, inherently in this HP restriction, there's already a turn restriction because there's no way you're gonna start the, the fight with 30% HP, right? So you have to wait a couple turns for your HP to be dwindled down by the enemy. And then you have to wait two more turns and then there has to be only one enemy. So there's also an enemy restriction there too. So three restrictions on Cell as well, just like Gohan. And people were pissed about the, the Gohan. Now people are also pissed about the Cell and for good reason and i man what what is going on here like who who decided this was a good idea like the two most hype units to come out in a very very long time they hyped it up so much they had an awesome stream uh celebration is great you know everything is good people are happy and then you make the biggest part of the celebration the dual dual kind of fest a <sighs> I'm gonna say a disappointment, man. I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm personally disappointed. Of course, it's it's objective, right? Um, or it is subjective. No, objective is the one where it's like based on your own opinion, right? I don't know, man. My, my brain is all over the place right now, but um, it's obviously based on opinion. Some people might still be okay with this. They're not disappointed, or maybe this is what they expected. But for me personally, I expected more from these units. And let me be clear one more time. 
they are going to be very good units, all right? Even without the transformation, even without the active skills, they're, just gonna, they're still going to hit very hard. Um, they're still going to be top tier units. You're still going to want them on your teams and be able to run them. And it, like, you're, I don't think it's the worth, it, it's, it's not worth summoning for. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't think it's a skip or anything like that. But I just think that it's very weird. It's very, very weird that they added so many restrictions to these cards and are basically not allowing us to um, run them to their full potential, you know, even though they made their full potential so sick, man. Like the active skill for Gohan, the active, active skill for active skill for Cell, they're all amazing and we will almost never see it. Like we will see it maybe like 5% of the time, like 5% of events we do, we will see that active skill transformation from Gohan and that solar Kamehameha from, from Cell and I'm just upset, man. I'm upset. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is just me. This is my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel right now. Obviously, I'm talking to a camera, so I can't gauge anyone's reactions. But let me know in the comments down below exactly how you feel about all of this. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just rough. <laughs> it's a rough time. But before we leave, um, I, I'll give you guys a little bit of, you know, positivity. And that would be, of course, the... Uh, animations for these guys and i gotta say they did an amazing job with the animation so let's at least leave on that note so let's take a look at this stuff uh together and uh that that's gonna be the video so let's go back to the twitter page here okay here we go that ost is sick by the way that is amazing amazing ost So good. Why did they have to do these guys like <laughs> so dirty at the same time, man? Like they did them so well, but also so dirty at the same time. It's it's so weird. Oh, that is freaking dope. That's the transformation right there, when you fall below 30% HP. You go from cell perfect, um, perfect form to perfect cell, I believe. Yeah, so obviously we still want <laughs> the cell. We still want the cell. We still want the Gohan. Um, is this for the Gohan? I think this is for the 16 and then the Gohan is after. I believe. I'm so, I'm so upset. So freaking upset. So that's the new 16. And uh, now it's all the now it's all the stuff for, Go, for Gohan. Watching this stuff right now, like, it makes me happy. Because it's so sick. But also, it's so upsetting to me. Like, because I know, like, I'm almost never gonna see this. <laughs> oh my god.
this is the uh, 18 key super after transformation. I didn't want to look at this, man. I didn't want to look at this because. <laughs> Like, when are we going to see that in game? Oh my god. Like, like I said, 5% of the time, 1% of the time. I don't know, man. Oh god. Um, I mean, there you go, guys. That that <laughs> That's it for the video. Uh, there's not much else for me to say that hasn't been said. It's just very upsetting. It, it is very upsetting. Um, I mean, I was already upset enough about the Gohan. And then we found out that... 16 was not AGL and then okay here's the thing we can still make this condition happen like with the 16 and the Gohan on like other teams um I think they yeah they share the Android slash Cell Saga team right so on that team we can still run them uh and make it a little bit easier for them to transform but not on this not on this team or any other team really aside from that and uh, it kind of sucks. It really does. And then Cell having that super huge restriction of 30% and then two turns later and then one enemy. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't know why, but um, that being said, I'm still hyped for them. All right. That, those animations still still caught me. So I'm still definitely 100% summoning and I still want to pull them. So I still expect a lot more summons or a lot more just content about that later on. But it's got. I, just, I had to get this out there, man. I had to get this out there. This is how I'm feeling. This is what's inside right now, and uh, it kind of sucks. So that's how I'll leave this video on, or uh, how I'll end off this video, I guess. Um, maybe if Bandai decides to make some changes, uh, which I doubt is going to happen, to be honest. But it's possible. It's, it's definitely possible. Uh, I'll be back with another update about that, but. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, I mean, it's it's this is how it's gonna be. We gotta accept it. And while I'm not happy about it, uh, like I said, these units are still gonna be great. They're still gonna be great units. They're still gonna be top tier. So at least we have that to look forward to. And those animations, um, even pre transformation, are pretty cool. But obviously, the post transformation ones are even better. Um, but yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, or at least didn't hate it. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day, or as fantastic as it possibly could be given the news and uh, until next time i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out